Good morning and welcome to Germany. First time set foot on German soil, so I'm in Hanover at Agrotechnica, which is the biggest agricultural machinery show definitely in Europe. But it, just to give you a scale of it, this is one hall and about 20 halls. So this is a New Holland stand and it is massive. Loads to see, they'll get cracking. Right, so here we've got a 75 horsepower electric case. So that'll give you three hours work and it'll take about nine hours charge for a normal charger. So there's a long way to come for this is practical for on our farm. A pivoting combine header to follow the contour of the field, getting cut nice and even. So this is a Steyr hybrid tractor. So this is a concept tractor. The front axle is powered by electric motor, which is powered by the diesel. But it gives you about 15% fuel saving as you can use the electric motors on the headland um, and in lower power situations. And it can also give you a power boost if you're going through difficult terrain or you're dropping the power in, which keeps a more steady engine balance. This is a gold blue Holland combine. 770 horsepower of crop munching machine. Set you back a bit though, I'd imagine. Right, so this is the Nexap concept. So instead of the normal tractor driving up and down the field, this drives lengthways up and down. It's a toolbar, so it can carry a combine harvester, it can carry a drill, it can carry a sprayer, um, and it has no compaction. So the two wheels run in tram lines that are there the whole time, and nothing else travels anywhere else on the field. So it's quite a, a neat concept. I'm not sure it's gonna work in our small fields in the UK. So this is a cool bit of kit from Kubota. So this is the Agri Robo tractor and it's fully automated. So you can take it to the field, set it doing the task and it will just do it on its own. So it's got sensors down here which will detect any movement, keep it from crashing into people, objects. And then on the back of it, it's got a, a hoe. So this will go down between the lines of crop and hoe out the weeds. It's got cameras to make sure it keeps on line. It will shift it left and right to make sure it's going exactly the right line. Not wiping out the crop, but wiping out the weeds as it goes. So, pretty cool kit. You can also pair this from other tractors. So you can be driving one, and this one will work with Thomas Lee with you next door. Oh yeah, so this is pretty cool stuff. So these are automated apple picking robots. So these are little individual drones, which run off a little cable and an electric motor, and they go and they use suction. A little suction cup here to grab and twist the apples off, then they come and motor it down and put it on the conveyor belt. So, no people involved goes along the orchard, picking the apples, let's see the demo. You can even get your own tractor tattoos done. One thing to remember, that Germany doesn't do good tea. Right, I'm in a prototype electric Merlot loader. So this will run for about eight hours on a charge. So I think this will be pretty good for kind of um, like grain store work. So you aren't leaving the yard, we can always put it back on charge. Um, but not sure for casting bales back and forth to the yard long distances on the road. Same different manufacturers here. This is a company called Lovell, which is Chinese. First Chinese tractor I think I've been in. Nice cream interior to this cab. Just gonna pop into Romania. Or perhaps I should choose France. Right, so now I'm on the Yara stand, and I'm gonna look at the Yara Plus. Uh, system. So this is one of our fields and we've made a fertilizer plan, an individual block, so it can variable rate fertilizer the nutrition for this crop. But also we can use the end sensor, which is the little thing here, to test the crops in the field and we can upload that data to make sure we're putting the right nutrition in the right places. Having a German beer with some of the companies we work with. So drone technology is really coming on to form the DTI stand. So this little drone here will scan your field, find out where the weeds are, and then you put that into some software, which will then put a prescription for your spraying drone, which is this one here, which can take 40 litres of spray up, and then it can go down its nozzles here and spray the individual weeds. So you don't need to spray the whole field, you can spot spray just what you need to. This JCB loader is an absolute beast. So it's six ton capacity, so with this massive bucket on it, you could load a grain lorry with five bucket balls. Right, I'm on Easy Connect stand now. So this is a closed transfer system. So it's basically, if we're putting sprays into the sprayer, there's risk of us getting contaminated. So if we can cut down that risk by using a closed transfer system, that's what this is. So we can directly put the spray bottle onto here, it sucks the right amount of chemical out, and we can put it into the sprayer, then wash the bottle, clean the lid, and then release it, and then we're not exposed to any of the chemical. Oh my God, look at the side of this sprayer. Look at that. Huge. 
So I'm with Peter Robinson from Agate Seed, and he's just going to show us around his autonomous tractor. So first of all, I think the public might be worried about safety features with tractors working on their own in the fields. So what measures do you have to stop someone getting run over by the machine? So yeah, so there's, there's four levels of safety offered in average tractor. We have a LiDAR on the top. This looks 30 meters around and slows down should it see any obstructions. Then on the bumper at the front here, we have radar and LiDAR, which will um, notify the machine any moving objects in front and come to a halt. If those all fail, technically it shouldn't, there's a safety bumper, digital bumper that will bring the machine to a stop should it come in collide with any objects. That's cool. So these are actually being sold and run in the UK? Yeah, absolutely. There are four in the country right now and another three do the plug in the Wow, so you've got to keep an eye out so you can see them working in the field. So, how many horsepower is this? This one's the largest, 160 horsepower. Traditional PTO that you'd expect. Four spool valves, joint diesel engine, drives the generator, distributes power between the tracks and the PTO. I think it's cool. So how much would it set me back? Here in Germany, the market price, which that price is 300,000 euros. So about twice the price of a conventional wheel track. So that's it for day one at Agritechnica. I've done haul two through to haul 11. So I'm about halfway through the whole show and it's taken me all day. And I have walked just, just shy of four miles today. Um, so by the time I get back to the exit, I'm sure I'll be over four miles. All right, see you tomorrow.